Alright guys, this is our uh, 10 subscriber video. We said that we would once we get 10 subscribers, we would show how we do our tricks. And right now, I'm going to show how I did the uh, revolving door. So, first off, you're going to want to have two decks that look the same but are different colors. And I'll show you what I mean by they look the same. Right now, I have the blue and pink deck. So these two decks look the same, like same design and everything, but they're just two different colors. So once you have that, uh, you're going to want to have from diff one uh, color deck, you're going to want to have the four, three, two, and ace, and in this order right here, make it in this order. And it doesn't have to be of spades, it can be of any uh, suit. <clears throat> and then, so once you have that, uh, you're going to want to have from the other deck the four of the suit you have uh, in my case that would be the spades uh, and so right now that's the blue right now um, so right now I'm going to put the I'm gonna so the of the four cards so right now that's the pink of these four cards you're gonna want to have this that full deck and then the other one of the in my case the blue you can just you're not going to use so I'm going to take these, and this is kind of a setup. You could find it in the trick, but I just like setting it up. Put these on the bottom as ace, two, three, and four, ace being on the bottom right here. And then after that, you're going to want to put the four that is uh, of a different color on the top, making it look like a blue deck. And then after that, if you wanted to, you could uh put it in on you can put it in the blue box just to make it more uh more uh i guess make the spectator believe that it is actually blue deck when you pull it out because you're pulling it out of a blue uh box and it looks like a blue deck but really it's a different color deck <clears throat> all right so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want uh to put or get these cards out and like I said this is the part where you don't have to find uh, all the cards before and you can find them during the trick and just go through them but you just want to make sure uh, that you don't show them that these are pink so that's why I just do it beforehand so I set these down I normally just tell them to look at the cards make sure they're not uh, make sure they're I don't know just make up some bogus stuff make sure they're not uh, bad cards or something like that as they're doing that you would get a pinky break right here super easy and make sure they can't see that obviously you're gonna after you get a pinky break you're gonna pick these cards up not showing them that they're pink or a different color you're gonna put them on top right here like this so now I have the blue card right here and I'm going to so I have the pinky break right there I'm going to pick it up and as I'm picking it up I'm going to lay these cards down not showing them that they're a different color than blue than this blue so right now the order is ace, two, three, four, and then the blue four of the other color. And these are pink or a different color. Um, <clears throat> and so right now you're going to show them. So I have the ace, two, three, four, and not knowing, they don't know that there's a four on the back of this. Uh, again, I cannot stress this enough. Don't show them that this is a different color that just ruins the whole trick. You're going to take the 3 and the 4, put it in between the 2 and the ace, like that, and then now it's all, all set up. So you spin it once, just to kind of, oh, that's why it's called the revolving door. You take 1, 2, 3, and then right now you have the um, other ace right here, but you say the ace is flipped over, but really it's just the 4. Um, you say, that, oh, the ace is flipped over. Uh, and they're like, oh, that's cool. So you put the three on top, like this, and you just keep repeating that over and over again. Three, ace, you know, oh, now the two's flipped over. Okay, I'm going to do it again. And they have no clue how you're doing it. Okay, now the three's flipped over. But really, the all the numbers are just behind the card on this side. So last but not least, you have the ace, three, and the, the two and you say okay now the four flipped over and really at the end this after the fourth time actually the four is you can show them the four flipped over 
So you, you put this down and you guys might have to practice this, I don't know. But you grab the deck of cards like this. You take one hand right, or one, the thumb right here. I'm gonna move these so I don't knock them down. You take the thumb right here, and then the two fingers right here, you pull, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna pull one, pull another, and then pull another. So it looks like, I, I'm showing them, okay, I have the ace, two, three, and four, and then the four should have the other card behind it. And then you square them all up, um, again, not showing them that they're pink, but then right now we're gonna show them. But as I was doing this, they still think it's blue. They say, um, as I was doing this, I changed the color to pink. They're like, oh, that's cool. And again, you do the same thing where you take this, and then you take the other cards and you show them, and the blue card should be behind here. So, and this is the careful part. You have to make sure that when you set these down to show them the rest of the deck, you say, you set this down carefully, not showing that there's two cards, then you can just set these down as you say, oh, and I was do as I was doing that, I changed the whole color of the deck. <clears throat> um, if you like this trick, please give it a like, and uh, I'll show how to do the other trick I do, um, I think, if not, if not in this video, the next video. And thanks for watching. Alright, here we are again with the, um, this time this is the magic uh, disappearing deck of cards and um, first I'll do the trick for you again so you remember uh, what it is and then I'll show you how I do it so yeah so right now this is my deck of cards with this case on it and stuff so I'm gonna take the uh, deck of cards out like this and now I'm going to put them back in its case if I was smart enough to alright there you go and now they disappear. So now I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, I'll show you that these are not the real deck of cards. And as I might have done on the video, I don't know if I did or not, but it looks like a deck of cards. And it looks like I pull out one. There is one card in there, but really, I don't know if you can see, but it's just cardboard. It's just, you know, because obviously you can't fit cards in here. Uh, you can get this kind of uh, magic I guess tool or prop on the on Amazon. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what to type in or what it's called. I think it's just called the. I just normally just call it a, a card case or whatever card magic case. Um, but yeah, so so basically what you do is you have it in there like like you know like have it in there like this first and then not show make sure not to show the back and then you put it in like. Oops, you put it in like this and it disappears and this just gets uh, great reactions make sure not to give them the box even though they probably won't be able to find it if they do it's kind of uh, it's kind of a bummer because then you can't do it to them and they're not amazing anymore they can, then they can go tell around their friends and uh, to, you know oh this is not I know how they do it he does his trick and stuff like that just try not to give them the box um, but if you want to show them how to do it, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, how you do it. Pretty simple trick. All you do is just take it out of a box and put it back in. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, All right, this was the uh, first trick that I did on this channel with Kevin. This was our first video. Um, and yeah, so this is where the card jumps to the top. Uh, so first what you want to do is you want to get a double, double lift. If you don't know how to do that, you just... You get two, pretty much get two cards uh, in your hand, but secretively, if that's the word. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to show them, okay, this is the ten of spades. So, and first of all, you're going to want to have to have a deck that you can ruin because you're bending the cards. Uh, and I don't think you don't want to, I don't think you want to use bent cards after. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't advise it. Um, so I'm using my, my trash deck. Uh, so what you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to bend it, make sure that it's a really good crease, make sure it's a, um, so you'll see why later. Um, and make sure they don't know you have two cards. So you bend it up and they still think you just bent the ten of spades when you really have, a, okay, you, in my case you have a six of spades, but you have another card behind you. So once you have a really good crease, you flip it over and after that you put a finger on top. Uh, and after that, you 
uh, you put, I, what I like to do is I like to put my thumb right and my thumb and my pointer finger right at the different corners or different sides of the creases so it makes it look like it's just a card. So um, I pick it up, saying I'm picking the uh, card that I shown, the tennis card. Uh, club spades. I mean, ten of spades up, but really it's the six of spades that I'm picking up, or the other card. Uh, you can even show them. Well, this is the bent card. They think it's the ten of spades, but it's really not. So you put it in the middle, and on the count of three, you go one, two, three. And as you snap, you're just gonna let off some pressure on here, and it'll jump to the top. And the ten of spades, and it looks like the bent card jumps to the top. And then later, you can go out and discard the other one. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's a pretty fun trick. Uh, one of my favorites. People are just, they just do not know how to do it. Uh, so yeah, um, hope you guys have a lot of fun with this trick, and I hope you guys like the video. Uh, hope it helped out a lot. Thank you for 10 subscribers, and I hope we can, I hope we can do better in the next, in the fur further videos, future videos, I guess. But uh, thanks for watching. Bye.